shuffle up the deck. You'll probably think I'm famous because I got a blue check. I remember playing ball. Hi, everybody. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, lateral epicondylitis, also known as tennis elbow. Um, the, the, the idea is to avoid getting it. However, I often see uh, tennis players and other racket sport athletes that get this. It's from overuse of those extensor muscles using your wrist and extending that wrist. Um, it happens here, as you know, on the elbow, on that bony prominence called the lateral epicondyle. What I like to use when it gets to that point where it's not going away from doing your due diligence at home with ice and self-massage, well, what I do is acupuncture. Acupuncture is a great catalyst in getting you, your body, to speed up the healing process and getting rid of uh, this inflammation cycle that can cause lots of um, uh, downtime with your sport. So what I like to do is use the acupuncture. Sometimes I use electric stim uh, to help with um, the healing process. I put the points around the elbow proper and uh, along those tight, tight tissues, the tissues that are being overworked. You can feel in there those wrist extensors, those muscles are ropey, tight. Uh, you can feel little trigger points, little knots. Uh, these are where I put the, the needles. The needles help relax that muscle and help uh, heal. Uh, With tennis elbow or lateral epicondylitis, acupuncture and other modalities help reduce inflammation, help release the tissues that are causing it in the first place, that's causing the inflammation, or tight bound up wrist extensor muscles that travel over, that get tight and shorten, and, and if you feel through here, you can feel that these muscles are being overused. Ultimately, they need to recover and rest, not doing the activity that's causing it in the first place. So, I am going to use some acupuncture. Uh, there's many different ways of uh, using acupuncture. There's a systemic acupuncture, which helps the person overall in recovery, but then local acupuncture in treating the area that is inflamed or the area that is involved um, that has the injury. those tight bands of muscle and want to put the needle through those tight bands. I put it around the area that is swollen and inflamed and now I'm going along those wrist extensors and finding those tight banded areas here You can see when I put the needle in, the muscle takes the needle in the direction that it wants to pull. and um, uh, those extensor muscles are being overused. So the, the best way to go about this uh, is to avoid it from happening in the first place. And we've talked about that in the past where um, you, you use uh, after a hard day of tennis or other type of sport where you're, you're gripping um, is to 
um, do self massage, self myofascial release with those tools that we spoke of. Yeah. Um, uh, this can take anywhere between, um, uh, depending uh, if you come once or twice a week. I, I recommend twice a week to get this done uh, quicker and more, and it to be more effective. Um, say six six treatments can help do the job.